doing a baby gear haul. This will most likely be the last baby gear haul I do for this pregnancy. If you guys wanna watch my first two baby gear hauls that I've done over the course of my third pregnancy, I will link those up in the cards and down below. I really think that this is probably going to be the bulk of everything that we buy. I have all but a couple items left. I wanna pick up some more diapers just to be prepared and those kinds of things. But other than that, this is the bulk of what we're getting. So I don't think I'm going to be doing any more big hauls. This is everything, most of it's from Amazon. I will link what I can down below. So the first item I'm going to mention, I don't even have with me because I was so excited when it came that I literally set it up right away. Mostly because we wanted to know how it was going to fit because we've got a new bed um, in between Everett and this baby. We upgraded to a queen size from a double. I wanted to make sure that this item could fit next to our bed to accommodate like our preferred co-sleeping arrangement. And that is the Billy bassinet. We had the Billy, or I think it's Baby I Love You is what it stands for. But anyway, we had this brand of bassinet with our two older kids and it worked great. Um, I know the Halo bassinets are super popular and I was debating on it for a long time. And at the end of the day, I was like, you know what? This is going to be our last baby. I really don't feel like spending, you know, $250 on a bassinet that's going to be used for three months. Because usually we keep in our, our kids in our room for about three months or so. I just really didn't feel like spending that much money for something that was going to be used so little. So I really like these. It's held up great for our first two kids. So we decided to buy another one. The next big item I have here, just to get it out of the way, I actually brought this up with me because I, I did resist putting this together, guys. Um, and this is a fish. Your price rock and play this is the auto version because i heard from all of my american mommy friends to get the auto version um if you guys did not know i am from canada i feel like i mentioned it in every video so like i feel like at this point you probably know um but these just came to canada in the last i think like year and a half um maybe right before ever it was born they became available in canada but definitely not like during the bulk of my pregnancy with him or they were extremely hard to find if they were available so they weren't like readily available at like babies r us and amazon and those kinds of places um and over the course like in between pregnancies and then throughout this pregnancy they have become available here in canada and of course all of my american mommy friends love the rock and play they suggest it it's like one of their number one baby items so of course i had to get it so i got it in the waterscape print from my understanding this is probably like a cross between like a swing and a bouncer um i honestly haven't looked too much into it other than i know it vibrates and it rocks back and forth i can't wait to set it up and actually like see how it works now that i've hauled it for you guys and i know that completely threw off my lighting now let's move into like the smaller items i'm just going in just random order First thing I have here is a Halo Sleep Sack Swaddle. This is the Micro Fleece or the 3.0 TOG and in the newborn size. So this baby is gonna be born in December. So it's, it's gonna be cold. And I loved having these with Everett and he was a late spring baby. Or I guess like mid spring baby, uh, which was practically still winter here, <laughs> if you're wondering. Um, so these were fantastic. I remember really, really loving them with him. And it works out great because whether you have a kid who likes to be swaddled like my son, or a baby who doesn't like to be swaddled like my daughter, these can still work. So they're super fuzzy. I got it in the blue color because I'm having a boy. Um, but we also have a cream one and I think a green one left over from him, but I wanted another one. Um, so you can either swaddle in their arms or you can wrap this around their belly and leave their arms out, whatever they prefer. So I really, really love these. They are kind of pricey. They're like 20, eight dollars each i ended up finding this one for 25 which wasn't a crazy deal but we needed it so it was what it was but yeah i absolutely love these they work so so well for winter and just fall winter spring babies here in canada but probably just winter babies everywhere else next thing i have here is pretty basic but this is just a boppy cover uh, this one went on sale the other day on amazon for eight dollars and it was super cute, it has like little animals on it. Uh, but I needed a new boppy cover. Some of you have wondered like kind of what's my feeding plan for this baby. And honestly, I'm extremely nervous about all of it. I was not able to successfully breastfeed either one of my two children. So I ended up turning to exclusively pumping with both of them and then finished off their first year of formula feeding both. So I'm definitely nervous. I would really love to try to exclusively breastfeed again, but I am preparing to exclusively pump um, I think just as like peace of mind. I've heard so many wonderful stories from you all of like 
third or fourth babies who've just magically been able to nurse after unsuccess being unsuccessful nursing previous children. And I absolutely love hearing those stories. It's so inspirational. But at the same time, I'm just, I'm so nervous about it because I haven't been able to do it before, um, successfully anyway, <laughs> that I'm definitely stocking up on like all of my exclusively pumping stuff just in case um, breastfeeding doesn't work out. Next thing I have here is actually out of its packaging because it came to me and the zipper was off of the package. So I ended up just ripping it out of the package because I'm impatient AF. This is a postpartum belly wrap from Neotech Care. Um, I bought this off of Amazon. I really wanted to try one of these this time because I did suffer from a diastasis recti after my son's birth. I really wanted to try something like this this time, but I just, I don't see myself using it very much. It seems like it's going to be very, you know, not the most comfortable thing. And I know everyone loves the belly bandit, but at the same time, that thing seems so uncomfortable and it's a hundred dollars. And what if I don't like it? What if I don't use it? You know what I mean? So this was $25. It had pretty great reviews. So I can't wait to see how it works. The next thing I got is for me postpartum. And this is the free to baby free day, the mom washer. <laughs> so this is kind of, unnecessary but i think it's going to be really really helpful postpartum so basically what this is is it's a peri bottle or a perennial bottle um, basically that bottle that you like wash everything off with after birth um, and i hated them with my first two because you know the angle of the bottle is just so freaking ridiculous you're sitting there like you need to point the water up, but you have to use gravity. Like it, it, it's, you're working against yourself basically. It's just a freaking hot mess. So although I plan on definitely taking advantage of the free Perry bottle I get in the hospital, I wanted to get this because it's supposed to be actually, you know, working with you instead of trying to like deal with all of that. Um, so this is kind of the design of it is it actually like sprays up where you need it to go instead of down into the toilet. So TMI, but I'm really hoping this works. I also got it on sale on Amazon for $5 off. I don't know if it's still that sale price, but I ended up getting it for that. Next thing I got is the Trend Lab storage caddy. I'm gonna be putting this next to my bed um, on my nightstand and putting all of my newborn essentials in here. So I'm gonna have some diapers, an extra sleeper, an extra swaddle for cleaning up all those messes and just like all sorts of, you know, great newborn goodies in here. Um, I can't wait to see the size of it because I haven't even taken it out yet. Um, I can't wait, like this is, I've been waiting to film this haul so that way I can get into like putting all this stuff together for you guys. Or not for you guys, for the baby. This is what it looks like here. It's soft, you can easily put so much stuff in all of these pockets. I can't wait to actually like fill it up and see where everything's going to fit. Sorry, my toddler is playing downstairs very loudly. So this I got um, as kind of a decor piece for the boys' room. My baby and my middle child, my son, are going to be sharing a room probably until they get like, you know, preteen, teenager-ish. Um, they're gonna be sharing a room for a while. Right now I'm in the process of doing a shared nursery for them and getting it all set up. Um, and I will be doing a nursery reveal when the time comes, when I actually get everything all together. It'll probably be like right before or after his due date, but oh well. Um, so I found this pillow at Babies R Us when we were there. And just so you guys know, if you're in Canada, Babies R Us is still open. They have no plans on closing. It is just the American stores that were closed. The Canadian stores are still open and running as usual. So if, if you're wondering, that's kind of what's going on with that. So I got this at Babies R Us, so I'm not quite sure where you guys will be able to get it, but it's this little pillow and it fits their theme perfectly because I'm kind of doing a like sky theme. You guys will see when I do the reveal, but it just says, shh, I'm sleeping. Um, this is from the brand Living Textiles. Um, so if I can find it on any other website, I will link it down below. Next thing I got here, I am so, 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 so excited to try. Um, and this is a naked nursing tank. And it's a product that's made in Canada, invented in Canada. I just, I absolutely love this. Um, so basically what this is, is it is a nursing tank top that goes underneath your bra. And I don't know if any of you guys have had this problem, but I definitely have. Um, most nursing tank tops have built-in shelf bras, and those do not work for big chested moms, you know, if you actually wanna leave the house. If you wanna sit around the house, you know, it, it works fine. But actually leaving the house and looking presentable, you know, those built-in shelf bras do not, do not do the job. But then you've got to put a nursing bra underneath, 
and then you've got like three layers going on here and then you got to put a shirt on top of that so you've got the shirt you've got the tank top you got the bra inside the tank top then you got your actual bra it's way too many layers so I thought this was an absolutely brilliant invention I ended up getting it in the black color I think I'm also going to get the white because basically what this does is it it basically just gives you that coverage that you want in your stomach area um, with a nursing tank top without all the bulk up on top from the nursing tank top. So I'll definitely be using this a lot with my preferred nursing bras um, for actually like going out places and trying to look nice. So I can't wait to try that out. Next thing I got here is a nipple shield from Medela. Um, I actually, if you live here in Alberta, you do not need to buy nipple shields. I'm just putting that out there. Um, if you are like a normal nipple size, you can get them provided for free from a lactation consultant or from your hospital. But they do not provide my size at the hospital. TMI, but they just, I, I, have a, I need a different size than they have at the hospital. Um, and I figured I'd get this just in case I'm having breastfeeding issues like I have with my son. And the only one they had available was like two sizes too big for me and it was massive and it looked so weird. It looked so odd. I don't blame my son for not wanting to latch onto that thing. So I got a nipple shield in case I need it. Next thing I got is also breastfeeding related in the hopes that it will work out. Um, and this is the Hakka silicone breast pump. I got the one with the um, suction base because I heard from a lot of moms that that, one, that was a really convenient feature. This is just the Hakka pump. There's so many videos on this. Um, basically, it's great for if you're breastfeeding, you can latch baby onto one boob and you can latch this onto the other and catch all of the breast milk that's being leaked out instead of just leaking into a pad. Um, I've also heard that this is great if you're trying to like use your electric pump on one boob, you could use this on the other if you're pumping. The next thing I got is a crib skirt. And I actually never bought a crib skirt with any of my kids, mostly because they're so expensive for a, such a useless item. It is literally just decoration. No one ever touches that thing. It just hangs out there to decorate the bottom of the crib. And most of them are at least $30 that I found on Amazon. So I was like, I'm not gonna pay that much money just to have something dangling there. Like that's, that's silly. Uh, but I ended up finding this one at Ikea for eight bucks and I was like, yes, sir, because it doesn't need to be good quality. It's literally just for decoration. <laughs> so this is called the Len from Ikea and it's just a plain white crib skirt. So I figured that would match everything else we've got going there. Next thing I have here, I bought at Babies R Us, but I'm sure I can find these things on Amazon to link for you guys. So these are the Aiden and I bandana bibs. This is a two pack. This is the print, so it's in the two pack. I ended up finding the two pack for 12 bucks at Babies R Us, whereas on Amazon, a one, a single bib was $11, so it was a really good deal. Um, so the one here has dinosaurs, and then we've got triangles underneath. Um, these are really good for when they're teething. I don't prefer these as much for when they're actually just eating. Um, so like the first three months or so, I don't prefer these just because I prefer the Tommy Tippy ones that I showed in my last baby haul, but these are nice for when they're teething and it prevents them from going through outfits like freaking crazy. Next thing I have here is the Ma'am Start pacifiers. Um, none of my kids have taken a pacifier. I honestly feel like my kids think that I'm trying to trick them when I give them a pacifier, but I heard a lot of moms say that this style of pacifier really worked for them and worked for their kids. So I'm gonna give it a try this time and see how it works. Um, these are in the newborn size. One has a little raccoon, or actually both of them have little raccoons. The next thing I have here is the Dapple Baby Dish Soap. Um, I feel like this is kind of a nice unnecessary item as baby gets older, but I definitely like using like a unscented, you know, fragrance-free, all natural dish soap for at least the first month or so, um, because I just, it's, it's better for them. I picked up this one. I remember I used this one with Audrey and I really liked it. Um, and it comes with a pump, which makes bottle washing so easy. Next thing I have here is two packs of the Baby's RS brand breast pump wipes. I've heard such great things of about these from Mama Aaliyah here on YouTube. She's an exclusively pumping content creator, or at least she was, she's weaned now. Um, but she has made some amazing content for exclusively pumping moms or just breastfeeding moms in general. She's a lactation, not a consultant, but I believe she is a lactation educator or a specialist, something like that. Um, and she's just, she's such a plethora of knowledge about everything breastfeeding and pumping. 
and she said that when babies are us was open down in the states she absolutely loved these they were an amazing deal and worked so well uh but now of course she can't get them because she lives down in the states but i can so i got two pumps packs while i was there the next thing i have here i actually got for my hospital bag and these are two packs of the munchkin milk makers lactation cookie bites um, i've heard from a lot of breastfeeding moms that these are really great for promoting a healthy milk supply getting that milk to come in all the fun things uh, and these they're supposed to be pretty good as well so i picked two packs of these up they're just like little travel baggies so i figured that these would be great as a little treat to put in my hospital bag so i got two of those i think they were like three dollars a pack so kind of expensive but it's gonna be nice as like a little treat next thing i have here is the mama earth this is the earth mama organic nipple butter so 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 many of you guys have recommended this to me throughout previous baby hauls i have always planned on getting this but after seeing how many people like i'd say at least 10 or more of you guys have commented saying you need to get this nipple butter so after all of that i was just even more convinced to get this stuff so of course i had to get it because nobody likes cracks or nipples and then the last thing i have here isn't really even an essential but i was walking around ikea when i got that crib skirt and i saw this and i was like oh my god it's so cute so this is the clumbing uh blanket this is just such an adorable baby blanket i don't even know if i'm going to use this for the baby i might end up using it for my son but it seems like a great um thickness and it's just so cute like it has like little sketched out characters and such i feel like this would be a great one to like put over the car seat uh, like not over the car seat but put over them in the car seat because it's not like fluffy to the point where it would be like obnoxious on them but it's like still nice and warm and thickly made so i really really love that i think i'm definitely going to put that over like i said over him in his car seat uh, and this was 12.99 at ikea so that is everything for this baby gear haul. This will most likely, like I said, be the last baby gear haul, unless I go on like some crazy shopping spree, which I don't really see happening because I don't really know how much baby gear there is left out there that I don't already have. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this haul. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe down below for future videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.